In this video, I want to share with you guys some verses from the Quran and then show you how Sheikh Uthman bin Farooq demonstrates to us how they're actually false. I'm just going to be reading key parts of the verses for the sake of brevity. In chapter 11, verse 1, it speaks of the Quran, a book whose verses are set clear. In chapter 6, verse 114, it speaks of the Quran explained in detail. In chapter 16, verse 89, it speaks of the Quran making clear everything. In chapter 41, verse 3, it speaks of the verses in the Quran being explained in detail. In chapter 12, verse 111, it speaks of the Quran being a detailed explanation of everything. Now, keeping those passages in mind, listen close to the segment of this debate between Sheikh Uthman bin Farooq and someone taking the Quran only position. Let's see if Uthman confirms that the Quran is actually explained in detail, if it is actually clear, fully explained, or if he shows that the Quran is actually false, that it's not fully explained, and you actually need books on Arabic grammar, you need hadith, and etc. Here's the clip. Keep those verses in mind and listen close to how Uthman argues that the Quran is actually not detailed, not fully explained in and of itself. Now talk about how do you make words. Allah ordered it, right? So when you rise to, to make salah, you wash your face, right? How much of the face do you have to wash? Uh, let me go back to the verse. Go ahead. So, yeah, it doesn't specify here. So what do you do? Uh, I don't really see the, the that's the thing. It, I, you know, I don't you think don't it, you don't No, I do. I just wash my face. I don't measure how, how much do you wash your face. No, no, I mean, do, do you wash do you wash the whole face? You just splash water on your nose. I mean, the face is you could just put I water just right here. That's kind of good. You just do whatever, yeah, you want. it's not specified in the Quran. So, well, well, so so this is interesting, right? Because the order is in the Quran, but you're taking your own idea how to do it instead of taking how the Prophet taught us. Now, who would understand the Qur'an better, you or the Prophet that it was revealed to? Because the Prophet specified how to wash, right? Many ahadith on it, but since you don't believe in them, now you're making up your own way. You're saying you can do anyway. Now, for example, when you, when you wipe your head, how much do you have to wipe? Because the course, بِرُوسِكُمْ in the Qur'an, what does that mean? What does the ba mean? Is it for tabreed? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't speak Arabic, so... Uh, bro, it's not about Arabic. It's about understanding the ayah of Quran. What does it mean to wipe the head? Here, I mean, if you don't, how much of the head do you have to wipe? It, uh, it just says wipe your uh, heads. Well, what does that mean? So this is my head. It means to, so to wash water go, on if your. I go, if I go like this, is that enough? Uh, yeah, because I don't think God's going to punish this, you this, this, for this, this, missing this, 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 an, air, an, this, an inch of surface this area. Is where, this is where your ignorance comes out, right? Because you well, don't no, say... No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Forget respect. Listen to me. When we're talking about the Quran, you can't play with it. It's not, it's not something for you to go and take shots at, right? As those of you, as Brother Muhammad, I'm sure, since he's been in Egypt, and other brothers, Mansur and them, uh, who, who studied Arabic, uh, I don't know about other brothers how much, you understand there is a ba, right? If, if you have to understand the Quran, inna anzalna Quranan Arabiya, Allah spent the Quran with a very specific language. And you haven't even taken the time to study the language of the Quran, and you're here trying to uh, argue against whether you need hadith or not. When you look at ba, it as a save away, how they said, you cannot come for tabi'i, you cannot come here in the Quran for a part of the head, right? So now Allah specified this in the Quran. And it was explained through the authentic ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, right? But here, instead so I have to speak Arabic. Wait, hold, hold, let me Is that what you're saying? Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. So instead of trying to understand the Quran itself and the language of the Quran and going to the scholar to study and the, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the one that the Quran was revealed to, without seeing what he explained about it, you just made up your own idea. And that invalidated your wudu because you didn't do wudu correctly. If you didn't do wudu correctly, your salah is not accepted. And yes, Allah will punish you because it was obligatory upon you as salah is obligatory. Those that are the aspects of salah, like wudu, is obligatory upon you to learn. So, Ben Shem, Yahudi, why don't you go 
and learn the Quran before you before you go and, and debate in things. Learn from a I scholar. Did, but when you, so when you're washing your head, right? Yeah, you, uh, you're not always doing it. You don't wash your head. Wipe it. Wipe it. Yeah. The difference between ghasl and masr. When you wipe your head, you're not doing it in the same exact path every single time. Same, same. So yes, it doesn't yes, actually you're matter. Wrong, you're wrong, 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 wrong. When you wipe your head, you have to wipe your head in the way the Quran has ordained. In, and this is explained to the Arabic language and then to the sunnah, the authentic way of the Prophet In chapter 12, verse 111, it speaks of the Quran being a detailed explanation of everything. In, and this is explained to the Arabic language and then to the sunnah, the authentic way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.